Lang Syne Intermediate Claw Hammer Banjo from my garage. Um, one of those nights where I've been trying to get around to this for a while and uh, everybody's asleep, so I can usually get away with playing the guitar in the kitchen, uh, uh, but not, not the banjo. So um, this is a... It's it's easy, but there's uh, a lot of memorization to this tab. Um, I have it written out so that you're obviously doing a lot of uh, you're following the melody. Melody. That said, there's a lot of real simplistic just strumming, but your your striking note is what you have to pay attention to, and that changes. So there definitely is a pattern with the chords, but there's not necessarily a pattern um, with the striking melody notes that you're using. So. This is a really great uh, drop thumb practice. So um, uh, let's dive into the lesson. Um, note on the tab, there's a key at the bottom. Um, you'll see that I often do a lot of skip notes. If you've done my lessons before, um, I just use them for syncopation purposes. If you prefer to do the full notes, then uh, I have them in the parentheses there. Uh, so play it how you like. So let's get rolling on this one. We're just doing an alternating bass from the low D to the G, two bum ditties in a row. Next is a drop thumb pattern. Total of four notes, two of which are skipped. Those are in parentheses. You're just gonna drop your thumb down to pull that open G. So the motion, a regular drop thumb would sound like this. When I do it, it sounds like this. I hit the right string. So instead of, or it's, you're doing the motions as though you're going down to hit those parentheses, parentheses notes. So it sounds like this with those two bum ditties. So like I said, if you want to play those in there, so. Again, just two more bum ditties, but we're doing different striking notes to follow the melody, so from the top. G, B, now we're going to hammer on to a two-fingered D chord, just your uh, third fret on your B string and your second fret on your uh, G string. You're going to hammer on to it. Immediately drop them again, you know, obviously still a skip you're opening your G string, so. Right. You're gonna strike the second fret. So that whole line is, should old acquaintance be forgot? So that's, should old acquaintance be forgot? And that's where we're ending on that, uh, so the first line of the tab. So if you see a T in there, that means thumb, by the way. Jump down to the next part. This is a drop thumb where, hey, I'm not skipping the first note. But I am letting... So you'll see a four in parentheses. It's kind of like you're letting it ring. Um, it's just one of those weird slides. It's a drop thumb. So you're hitting the... Striking the high D with your index finger and... Oh, well, your striking finger. And uh, catching your thumb on the G and... Now, typically in a regular drop thumb pattern, you'd you would hit another, but you're just gonna kind of let this one ring out. Or, I'm sorry, don't hit that last part. And that's where we're going back to that two there. So we're on the second line in the tab here. Okay. Then uh, open G bum D. And then a drop thumb, just a real simple pattern. Or, I'm sorry. So, I skip it. Whatever you want to do. So, the second line so far sounds like this. Or, I'm sorry. Alright. You see another slide in there. It's a drop thumb slide again. So we're going, second line looks like this so far. I'm sorry. That 
that is the drop thumb to that second slide from two to four. That's with that open D. Then you're gonna hammer on a C chord. I realized when I was doing it, I was really only brushing like the bottom three strings. So you'll see a two on there. It's like, looks like a hammer on and there's nothing there to hammer on from. And that's really what it is. You're just hammering on the notes you're striking, but you're just bringing that note down. All right. Like my, uh, the humidity in my garage is knocked my banjo a little out of tune here. Um, but I'll just keep moving. It's not that important. So you're doing like, all right. So you're kind of hitting that. This is like a bum ditty, believe it or not. So it's like a, but it's just with two full, full chords so two full brushes. Okay. And you're just doing the next line down a drop thumb. Real simple on the C chord. These two. And then this is a... I skip usually that second part. So after that drop thumb. And you'll see it's, a, it's like a big brush of a C chord. And then a two in parentheses and then a thumb. And that sounds like this. I'm just skipping that. It's a bum ditty pattern. So, and I'm doing that again, that other, the hammer on. Now we're back to the, where it starts on G. Now we're on the fourth line of the first page, hammer on D again. We've already done this part, so you, we've already done this pattern. And we're going to do this, that two to four slide again. And you're going to hit your open. You, this is, you're moving to your E minor. So. Now do a drop thumb. C, you're only going to hit once. And then you're going to do a drop thumb. Um, you'll see I have an X in parentheses because I really didn't have a corresponding uh, drop thumb note because this is actually supposed to be a D chord, but the turnaround on it's like so fast. Uh, it's just to me not worth trying to switch your hands that fast. So I just do the open. D string with my thumb. I don't touch anything else. So, uh, from that two to four on the fourth line down in the middle, let's do it again. E minor, C, D, G. So, um, it's cause technically I think the song is like, uh, uh, you know, before God and ever come to mind, you know, open before God, for old Lang Syne. There's actually a B in there. We actually sort of are uh, doing that with a slide from two to four before that E minor. So it's just too much to try to work that whole chord in there. And it's so fast. So if we're just playing a couple of notes, so. Let's take the fourth uh, measure down on the tab from the beginning. E minor, C, D, G. Okay, this next part may be controversial. Um, you know, I actually, this is one of the few songs that I know how to play on the piano. Um, and when I learned it on piano in the key of G, um, this part did not have a, a C chord in it. Uh, well, I mean, there's a C chord in the song, but this p part in particular, um, did not have a C. So, um, it uses the E melody note 
to sort of like cover that whole thing. But in this, I can hear a whole C. So you could go, you know, we're at old Lang Syne for old Lang Syne, my dear. But I just, it sounds cooler on the banjo to go. So again, apologize for this uh, banjo not cooperating with me down here. I should have let it get acclimated before I started the lesson, but let's check it out. So the, this is after the break in the 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 last uh measure of the tab and we're going to be moving into the refrain of the song here so it's again like a bum ditty pattern you're just hammering on but i skip that second one in parentheses you can play it if you like Sorry, this banjo is killing me down here. This is not uh, my favorite tuner. It's a old snark. It just was the one I grabbed out of my drawer as I was heading downstairs. So skip ahead a few seconds in the... All right, let's do this again. So the refrain. Now we're on the second page. You just the one of these bum ditty patterns with your strikes. D, we've already done this. C, G again. that's the whole song so we've already done you know all of these parts mostly it's just sort of like those little licks just rearranged so i'll take it again from the refrain i'm going to slow it down and we'll do this just once more so hammer on to the c for the where this starts out this is on the last line of the tab on the first page after the break playing for new year's um now is a good time to start the beginning of december to give you plenty of time to practice so um hopefully uh the sound was okay down here apologize for having to uh tune up and down so much but uh hey there uh is a tip jar should you feel so inclined uh, especially around this christmas season uh helps a guy with two little kids out around christmas so um that's not really what's important what's important Pick us the better tunes. See you next time.